Now let's talk about you. I mean, you've done so many things. Let's and, talk about and me. on your Wikipedia. It talks about how there's you there's a Wikipedia a, on me. Did you know that? No. What yeah, did they say about awesome? me on Wikipedia? The wiki, the wiki genius did not kick you off. That's nice. just crazy. Do you know how many times that people try to create wiki pages? Because I've tried, and then the wiki like Nazis come in and they kick you off. I did. I did not know I had been wikified. You've been wikified, I'm, and it I'm says Wikipedic. you're most uh, known for being a monologue writer for Jay Leno. Uh, wow, I I'm very impressed that that is what I am most known for. I don't know if those are the exact words. It's they will really have to look kind of bullshit, is what that kind Come of. Come on. I will no. Well, I I. <clears throat> eyebrows, I, eyebrows. Uh, Adjust the eyebrows. <laughs> here's the deal. <laughs> Listen, wikis. Right. <laughs> That's right. Wiki, Wiccans. listen up now. Here's the deal. I wanted to write for Jay. He, he was doing the Monday nights. Johnny was still alive and doing the rest this of the week. Back in the day. This is back in the day. Okay. When I, um, yeah. Uh, so Jimmy Brogan was the first guy who ever bought a joke for me. And he okay. said, so send in jokes. To, send him 50 jokes a day. How many? Wait, how much was a joke going for those 50 days? bucks. Okay. This 50 is for a television bucks show. a joke for, yeah, the Tonight Show. So... I was sending in piles and piles of jokes okay. to Jay Leno, and uh, after months of clever, oh, clever shit I was sending in, <laughs> he uh, bought and performed the stupidest joke I had ever written in my life. What was it? Do you remember it? Of course yes. you remember it. Of course, it's like, it's like Ray Finkel, or was it, was it Ray Finkel from uh, um, Ace Ventura? Yes. When did... And the name came uh, anyway. I don't know. I I I'm so lost with the reference. I'm sorry. It's, okay. it's not I, even that great of a pop culture reference. I try so hard to keep up with what's going on around me. 14 years ago. Um, humorous. I, uh, okay, uh, let's hear so, the joke. So the joke the joke was that uh, it was in the newspaper that a dog in Sherman Oaks, a uh, guard dog at a jewelry store, had swallowed a ring valued at five thousand dollars. And just to give you a sense of the magnitude of this event, that's thirty-five thousand dog dollars. That was the f joke he bought, and I'd been submitting for months. I'd been submitting, and he buys this joke from me, and it was just a heartbreaking. And he did it. He did the joke. And applause then he did break. The <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it was a big, you know. And, okay, I got a joke on the Tonight Show. That's nice. And then um, uh, Helen Kushnick was still working with him at that time. Okay. And I got a. Not Helen Keller. No, no, no. <laughs> Helen Keller, while there are jokes about her, <laughs> she was not good at the choosing of jokes herself. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, We're telling Helen Keller jokes. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I drank too much um, last night. There will be editing involved, I assume, at some Probably point not. in this process. Oh, good God. <laughs> there will be. There will be. The woman comment. sent me a letter, uh, uh, she left me a message on my machine that said, uh, Please write balanced monologues. If you're going to write jokes that attack the Republicans, write jokes that attack the Democrats too. And I sent back a, a message to her that said, no, I'm a leftist and that's what I write. And and if you want a balanced monologue, then buy some jokes from me and buy some jokes from Jeff Wayne and everything comes out. Right. Great. And she said, no, you can stop sending in stuff now. And now you'll find out exactly when this was and how freaking old I am. Uh, you probably don't remember this because you were, I'm thinking, nine. Uh, Ross Perot ran for president and then dropped out of the race for I two months Ross and then Perot got the back in. Yes, he was, uh, yeah, the the, the model for the Ferengi characters on Star Trek The Next Generation. Really? Uh, yeah, actually. I did not know that. That's uh, true. Um, uh, but he got out of the race and then he got back into the race. Mm -hmm. And when he got back into the race, I uh, got a call from Jay Leno's people, not Helen. That said, uh, Ross Perot's back in the race. Can we buy all the Ross Perot jokes you ever sent us? And I said, sure. And they sent me a big old check, for, you know, fourteen hundred dollars. Big money back then. Bunch of jokes that big I'd money. sent in over the course of of. But you'd already written them. I'd written them, yeah. yeah. Just and they just gone through and pulled out all the Ross Perot jokes and sent me a big check and said, That's awesome. Go on. So I don't know if they ever used any of them. I don't know if they made it on the air. So as far as I know. When you say I am best known for having written monologues for Jay Leno, as far as I know, I wrote a joke. A joke. One joke. And not one that I'm proud of. <laughs> and that was a dog in Sherman Oaks. That's right. It was a dog dollars joke. 35,000 dog dollars. I have to cut to a break, but I'll be right back with Dylan Rohde. Uh, do you have a website with Did you plug? say I have to cut to rape? Yes, I have to cut to rape. What does that mean? Um, I, sorry, Mrs. Rohde. <laughs> 
Dylan, DylanBrody.com. www.dylanbrody.com.